everyone, I'm Zian and I'm a part-time dance teacher. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do a three-point turn. We're going to learn to do the three-point turn to our right as well as to our left. So I'm doing a tutorial facing the mirror so that you can see what the three-point turn should look like both from the back as well in the mirror. So what is a three-point turn? Let me demonstrate to you first. So a three-point turn to the right looks like this. Three-point turn to the left. So first things first, let's talk about our footwork. So let's talk about the footwork for the three-pointer to the right. What we're aiming for is to take three steps along the horizontal line away from us. So it's one, two, three. The footwork would be right, left, right. The direction of the turn is to the right or clockwise. We're going to make one full turn in those three steps. So step right, and then left, and then right. So as you can see, we've taken three steps and we've traveled away from our original position. Now, not only are the foot positions important, the direction of toe are facing is also very important to help us with the turn. So we're not just going to randomly place our feet along the line. This is how we're going to step our feet. Now the first step is with the right foot. Your right foot, as you said, should be pointing to the right wall. The next step, which is with our left foot, is going to turn us to face the back. So your left toe is going to face the back wall. Keep turning, and your right foot is going to take a step to the right, and you're going to end up facing front. So when we bring down the full turn in the three steps, it's like this. A quarter turn, another quarter turn, and then we half turn. So that's the footwork. The thing is, in order to do a beautiful turn, we do not turn with our feet. We always turn with our shoulders. Every time you do a turn, you should be aiming to pull your shoulder back. So first of all, let's do a very simple practice. Whenever you want to do a turn, you turn with your shoulders by pulling the shoulders back. Don't push the shoulders forward because that will cause your posture to collapse. Let's say now we just want to practice a turn to our right or do a clockwise turn. So even without moving our feet, we can practice our shoulder turns. So if you want to turn to the right or clockwise, what we do is we need to pull the right shoulder back. And as you can see, you're already doing a rotation. Don't push the left shoulder forward. Some people would think, why don't we push the shoulder forward? The problem is when you push a left shoulder forward, you might still be able to achieve the turn, but watch the posture. If we push forward, you can see how we've hunched up and the posture looks terrible. Whereas if we were to pull back, our chest remains open so we look confident, elegant and beautiful. That's why we always pull back as opposed to pushing forward. If you want to turn to the left or anti-clockwise, you need to pull with the left shoulder back. So remember, not pushing forward with the right shoulder, you need to pull back with the left shoulder. All you have to do is just pull the left shoulder back and you can see you're already doing a kind of rotation. To make the turn even bigger, what you can do is you can do a wind up. That means you have a rotation first in the opposite direction before you turn. So for example, if you want to do a clockwise turn, we wind up first by turning our shoulders to the left and then we're going to pull our right shoulder to the back. And that's how we can do an even bigger turn. If we want to turn anti-clockwise, then we wind up by having our shoulders face the right first and then we pull the left shoulder back. And that's how we can do a nice beautiful rotation. So now, how do we apply the shoulder turns in the three-point turn? So this is how we're going to do this. First of all, let's prepare our feet. So I'm going to raise the heel of my right foot so that it's not ball. That way, my foot is prepared to step up. Before we turn, we're going to wind up so that our shoulders face the left. Now, remember that your footwork needs to be right, left, right, with the toes pointing to the right wall, back wall, and then coming back to the front wall. Throughout this motion, you need to be pulling with your right shoulder. So how you do this, you're going to pull your right shoulder and as you turn, all you do is just step, step, step. So pull and step, step, step. 
So during the three point turn, your turn does not stop. You do not stop halfway. So you're going to go step and step and step. It's really ugly and there's completely no momentum. The turn is continuous, so it's one full turn along three steps. All you do is just pull your right shoulder and just step, step, step. So pull and step, step, step. And that's how you do the three point turn to the right. Now let's talk about the three point turn to the left. It's exactly the same thing except in their image. But first of all, let's talk about the footwork. So the footwork is now the opposite to the right foot. We're going to start with the left foot. So we're going to travel along the horizontal line, left, right, left. So the first step is the left foot. The left foot needs to point to the left wall. Keep turning. Right foot is going to point to the back wall. Keep turning. The left foot is now going to step side and we're going to come back to the front. So when doing the left three point turn, we also need to put the shoulder turn in. So preparing for the turn, we will have our left heel up on the ball so that our left foot is prepared to step out. We're going to wind up with our shoulders facing right. Now we're going to pull the left shoulder back and remember, step, step, step. Left, right, left. So keep pulling the left shoulder back throughout the motion. Let's do that one more time. So wind up, left foot is on the ball. We're going to pull the left shoulder, we're just going to keep pulling as we step. Let's go. Left, right, left. So now that you know how to do the three point turn, how do we make it look even more elegant? What you can do is during the second step, have the second step placed right next to the first one so that your feet are right next to each other. So when you're turning to the right, instead of stepping right, left with the stripe open and right, what we'll do is we'll step our left foot as close as we can get to the right foot. So by breaking down slowly, that means it will be right, left, right. In order to achieve that beautifully, you need the momentum from your shoulders. That means you need to make sure you have to wind up and pull with your right shoulder to create that rotation so that you can get your feet together easily. Right foot up, wind up, pull the right shoulder back, set right together, open. So when you want to turn to the left, same concept. So originally when we learnt it, it was left, right with the stripe open and left. What we want to try to do now is get the right foot close next to the left. So going slowly, it would be left, together, right. Just as with the right three point turn, you need the momentum from the rotation to be able to get your feet to close easily. So let's prepare. Left heel up on the ball. Widen your shoulders up to the right. Now we're going to pull our left shoulder. Step together, step. And that's how you do a beautiful three-point turn. So if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe so that you can get updates on more tutorials by CM.